Goodness. Oh, bam. What's up, everybody? Now, I know you guys have probably seen the news. DLC 6, it's supposed to come out on Tuesday, apparently, allegedly. Let me just start out by saying this. I've, uh... I failed. I failed. I've been on a quest throughout my run of Dragon Ball Super, watching Dragon Ball Super, and absolutely avoiding spoilers with, with, with such finesse. Like, so much power went into me avoiding spoilers. Like... I'm not even gonna front, I had to unfollow some people, and not even unfollow, sometimes I had to mute some people. You know, there's just things that you had to do, that I had to do, I had to take it upon myself, and I was gonna, I was gonna reverse all that when Dragon Ball Super ended. I was gonna be like, all right, I can follow this person, I can be subscribed to this person again, because Dragon Ball Super is done, yay! But while Dragon Ball Super is going for my content, I had to do what I had to do to stay away from spoilers. And so, in my god, man, I was doing good. I was doing so good. But surprisingly, it wasn't Toei or even Dragon Ball Super's ridiculous titles that spoiled me. It was Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2 has announced the release of a new form of Goku, and that is apparently his mastered Ultra Instinct, this white-haired thing. Yes, it looks it looks pretty cool, and I admit, I, I like it. It looks like a cool design, but I'm just mad that I couldn't just be like, SHOCKED about it when I just saw it in the series, in the in the anime, in the anime. So it looks very interesting, alright? You have this, this technique that kind of reminds me of data input that everybody and their mom was like, Oh my god, you can use Ultra Instinct in Dragon Ball Xenoverse too! No, it's... it's data input. It's not Ultra Instinct, it's... it's data input. But this looks a little bit different than data input due to the fact that you can actually... It looks like Goku is like dodging energy attacks whereas data input you could only dodge strike based attacks so that should be pretty interesting some people are probably a little worried he's going to be op we'll see he also has unique combo so it's not just a rehashed goku thank god he has this giant ball of f you see that's the thing like i'm a little worried that that move might be something he does in dragon ball super and it's funny because even in Dragon Ball Super, while I'm watching it or doing my reactions for the people that watch it, you can you can vouch for me. I've said, I was like, if Toei and Dimps were on the same page, they could really, like, do something cool with this marketing on their DLC. Like, it seems like they were on the same page with this one because Xenoverse, it was through Xenoverse that we were kind of spoiled this Mastered Ultra Instinct thing, or at least I was spoiled on it. Like, if other people knew about this way beforehand, I don't know because... I avoided those spoilers, but I couldn't dodge this one. I couldn't dodge this one. There was too much bower behind it. Not even my bower was enough to just shield myself away from this ultra massive spoiler that everybody had to tweet me. Like, why couldn't they have done this? I don't know. If it happens in tomorrow's episode, I'm really going to be mad because they could have literally just used the momentum from Dragon Ball Super to their DLC. Now we have this weird fluctuation of momentum where we are like, oh my god, crazy new form for Goku, and then it's gonna happen in Dragon Ball Super when when it could have happened in Dragon Ball Super and the momentum would have been way up here and then and then they could have just rode that wave. What am I talking? You guys know what I'm talking about. I'm just mad that I was spoiled, okay? I'm I'm salty. Anyways, Ultra Instinct Goku mastered whatever looks cool. And Android 17. He looks fun to use. Uh I'll be interested to see how he plays. Hopefully he's not just too much of a clone. Like they they, they showed some moves that basic 17 already has so i do think he's gonna have like the same combo strings and stuff like that so yeah i guess we'll see jiren let's talk about jiren and then there's also Fu. oh and then there's gonna be like some cool storylines but but let's talk about jiren speaking of jiren let's let's throw let's tie in the storyline to jiren so apparently there's gonna be a scenario where jiren zamasu and rose goku black are working together now how is that gonna work? That's very interesting just because I feel like Jiren's not about that. Like he's too strong. Or maybe it's just maybe it's just some weird parallel mission that doesn't make sense. Maybe they brainwashed him. Maybe they convinced him that they're working alongside him. Because Jiren could body both of those dudes. He could he could one shot both of those kids, man. They're kids to him. Zamasu, you're a boy. You're just a child. Scum. Nothing. Stupid. But Jiren in terms of gameplay looks like a brawler. He looks kinda it looks kinda silly. Like did, did anybody get a, a silly kind of vibe from that? Like I don't know. When I watched the gameplay and I saw him just knocking people around his his weird shaped body, just because Jiren has a weird shaped body, and then like his model looks really cool, but his animations just it looks they look silly to me. Like I I don't know what other ways to put it. He does have that move where he shoots him away, turns around, does this, and then like they blow up behind him. So that's pretty cool. Overall, he looks pretty cool. I'm excited to play with him just to see what he really brings to the table. Let me know your thoughts on Jiren below. And lastly, Fu. Now Fu. 
oh my god. I don't know if it's just me, but even with this cool Goku, the 17 everybody's been asking for, even though it's kind of a clone of the previous, but, you know, it's, it's still the 17 Ranger 17 a lot of people were hyped for, and even Jiren, who might be the character I'm most excited for just because of how he plays, like, just the way he was moving, his animations, and, like, his techniques just looked so fluid and so really cool and unique and like they showed these scenes of him calling trunks old man and it's funny because you're like well you guys look like you're the same age but really who is is way younger but he must be coming from the future because of the fact that or, or different timeline you know what i mean because he's, he's younger than mira and so and he was born obviously after trunks and trunks is old to him but uh yeah you get the point he's, he's old yeah shut up but nonetheless, Foo gameplay-wise looks really cool. I'm really excited to see how the story all works. Maybe Foo's the reason Jiren is on Goku Black and Zamasu's side. Maybe just put that all together just by possessing him. But again, I, it gives me the same... Remember when Demigra tried to possess Beerus in Xenoverse 1? And then Beerus was like, nah, that's... That, like, there's there's levels to this sort of thing. But it could just be because he's a god. So maybe they can do it to anybody who's not a god. I don't know, but all looks really interesting. DLC six, and I just gotta say, so 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 y'all gonna come back now? Y'all just y'all going with? I'm just gonna stroll back in like nothing happened, all right? And you guys know who you are. I'm not talking about everybody, but there was enough people, a handful of people, that were commenting on my Xenoverse two videos after, like post fighters. So fighters came out. I still like Xenoverse, so I still made Xenoverse content. I even said at the beginning of my videos, I was like, oh yeah, I'm posting Xenoverse because I like the game. What what, what can I tell you? I just I enjoy the game. And then there was those comments where people are like, yeah 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 yeah, he still plays Xenoverse. Yeah 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 yeah. And no names here, but I've seen those same people showing how extreme like oh my god ah oh, so so much so much hype so much hype for DLC 6 oh my god I can't wait to play Xenoverse boy if you don't boy if you don't but anyways that's not even the all of those things mentioned those aren't the things that I'm the most hyped for for DLC 6 what I'm most hyped for what I'm absolutely most hyped for is if you guys do not remember, a few months back, I, along with a couple of others, went to Bandy Namke and we met the producers of Dragon Ball Xenoverse. And we had an interview with them. There was one on air that you saw. There was one off air that you did not see that was much longer. And I talked a lot more. You guys saw the one on stream where we just kind of asked questions that, you know, we were kind of allowed to ask on camera. We couldn't ask those heavy hitters. So there's people who are like, these guys only ask like these questions. They don't they don't really play Xenoverse. They're not like the true Elias like us. Shut up. Shut up. You, you you sound so stupid. I created four different documents. Each document had two to three different pages. All right? And I gave them all of the information I had. This was right before DLC 5, but obviously any of that information could not have been implemented in DLC 5, but all of the things that I mentioned, and I can't talk about all of it just because of the legalities, I signed things, and yeah. But let's just say I made a very, very, very extensive list of things that the community all believed should be modified or fixed in Xenoverse 2. And I think they definitely got the message from all of us, I I'll at least say this out loud, the netcode. Like, we talked about the netcode a lot, so basically, I, we met I mentioned this in the past, DLC 6 is the last chance for Xenoverse to, to, to really flex its muscle. This game is a game that I've always said has a whole bunch of potential, but I always felt like it never really reached its potential, but we could really see whether it, it capitalizes on the information that I took the liberty to sit down for hours in my office, typing up, taking information, not only for myself, you guys remember I even posted polls, I was asking you guys, I was talking to everybody. This isn't just my opinion, so I don't want people to be like, Oh, well, Syriax, he's just trying to make the game the way he likes it. No, this is the general consensus. There's going to be people who like to abuse things that are going to try to knock this off. And they're going to try to say that all oh, Syriax doesn't understand. Coming from years in the QA industry, I worked again. I used to, I don't mean to flex my credentials, but I, I used to work for a AAA company for years doing this professionally professionally making a living off of this not literally off of you know dragon ball games but off of testing games and balancing games and stuff like that like i i did this at least i don't work for them anymore i let them know all right nothing too dramatic but everything necessary so basically i know i just went on a weird little tangent there but what i'm most hyped about dlc 6 for is to see if they've implemented any of these changes if not dare i say all of these changes it's not going to be all because there was way too many but if they got enough of them my god 
because Universe 2, the Universe 2 just just extended its life. Let me know what your thoughts are about DLC 6, and um, yeah, we almost there. Dragon Ball Super tomorrow. See your reaction. Don't miss it. I will see you guys then. Yum, 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 yum. Yeah. With that, I just have two more words to say.